when you do your maintenance on your sewing machine maybe you have this uh, user manual and if you look on the manual you will notice the points where it says to add lubricant to add that oil now there is sometimes a defect and what happens is that even if you add the point at that point oil is not going to lubricate actually see what happens this is a cast the entire frame it's an alloy and it's a cast and if you know a little bit of engineering in casting you need to fill all the small gaps with a special material that after a while is removed and that material sometimes maybe the process is rushed at the factory or is just not uh, correctly mixed that material and it may not completely fill out the holes and what can happen is that you have these holes that are looked for lubrication these holes basically are just above points of lubrication when the shaft is supported it's like a bearing inside two metallic make contact and these holes have to go all the way down until you see the shaft basically if i would turn the hand well if you look with a flashlight and maybe a magnifying glass you should see inside this hole rotation you should see the shaft shiny surface of the shaft moving that's one of the lubrication hole but sometimes sometimes the casting process is not done correctly at the factory and if you look here down this hole for example which it's very difficult for me to film really down there but right here actually it's not a full hole going to the shaft below it's a hole that actually it's blocked by some alloy material because the hole during the casting process has not been pierced completely all the way through the material right at the bottom it's a little bit of this material remaining and if you put oil in that it, you will see basically the oil will stay at the top is not going to leak onto the rotating shaft below in other words you won't be able to lubricate that segment of the shaft which is supported at that point and that obviously in the long term is going to cause wear at that place and it's in, i think it's a good idea just to have a look uh, all the lubrication hall usually have a manual shows where it is um, you may have a look with the magnifying glass at all holes you should really see some shiny shaft part when you move the hand well you should see movement in there if you don't see movement it means the hole is not correctly processed at the factory basically it's not a lot that you can do i have this kind of uh, small it's not a screwdriver it's like a pin tip you can try push a little bit on that material just without too much force maybe the material remaining there is really really thin and you can at least puncture a small hole to it then have the oil leak onto the shaft maybe but it's not always possible and i suggest you don't force too much because you can also uh, cause a dent in the shaft or cause friction uh, on the shaft itself and this goes the same at the bottom of the machine you have other access holes when you just flip the machine upside down you will see other lubrication points exactly the same usually it's really when you look from a side, you will see that at some point the shaft is just tied in the bracket. At many places the shaft is free, but at some point there is support on the shaft itself, like these two points, and you can see those holes at those points. Just careful, sometimes you also have holes for the screws. These are not for lubricating, and I did see in my manual there is an error. It says to lubricate this screw hole, but it's not correct because it will just leak the oil over all over other parts it doesn't go on the shaft itself you need to just pay attention uh, you always see a hole like this that is not with screw on it and it always look just you can tell that the shaft here it's tight it means that's a lubrication point this hole it's usually in the middle of that uh, friction area friction segment of the shaft and that's where the oil has to go in the middle of it it leaks right on the shaft so yeah it's something that i think i think if it's on this machine is the process is not correctly done at the manufacturer at the factory back in the days this is a 50 years old machine 
This means many other, other machines will have the same exact same issue. Maybe at this hole, maybe at this hole, maybe at other hole around. We want to look at all holes. Unfortunately, like I said, there is not much you can do. But it's just perhaps good to have this idea to understand this thing about your sewing machine. Thanks for watching.